taking feedback is important. And when <clears throat> multiple viewers say, nice jack, but how's the damn thing work? I don't know. I just kind of showed it up in the air. <laughs> and uh, I did that not a good job, according to some of you. So we're going to do a how to get the bike up in the air and move bikes around. And also we're going to do a, a charity thing that's really cool. I'm excited about that one of you provided the stuff for. So hang on. Did you hang on? All right. Um, so uh, let me do this. So the, the JNS jack that they sent me, um, we did a video on using it and I just showed like the features and stuff that I really like on this thing. And this is from you guys, not them. Several of you said, I'm interested, but how fast does the bike go down? How hard is it to put it up in the air? Da -da 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 -da. You suck at this is basically what you know, <laughs> several, several said. So we're going to do a better job of uh, showing how the bike actually goes. So right now, this is actually a pretty good example. So if the bike were pulled in, you'd see that it don't fit this way with those there, you know, like I can't close the garage door. So I'm gonna do this real time, no trickery. So I know that the left ski on this guy, by the way, my handle's on now, how cool is that? I was too lazy to put it on before. Um, so the left ski should go under the oil cap. You know, I just know that from, from using it the first time. So let's line her up. And you just kind of take a peek and go, look down and go out. <laughs> So when they're lined up, you just start pumping her with your foot. And then as soon as it makes contact with the bike, I'm going to go take a peek. As soon as it just touched it. You know, once you've done this several times, probably won't have to do that. And what I like to do is just kind of take a peek and go, yeah, there's jack sticking out from under the frame. So it's not just going to... What you don't want to do is use your kickstand as a pole vault to just lift your bike up and over. <laughs> So I'm just verifying that's not going to happen. I knew it wasn't, but I just wanted to check to make sure. So as soon as I see that there's there's jack sticking out from under the frame, and yes, to one person's question, those are rubber pads. It's not like steel on steel. So then you're just going to foot crank it. Comes up nice and slow. Oh, I grabbed the handle out of paranoia. And then just bring her up. Oh, my ski's not level. Look at that. Still working, of course, but my ski is a little bit to the right of the oil cap, so even I didn't do it right. So then you're gonna pump her up as far as you want her, and you're gonna flip these guys over, right? Like that, and then like that. Those are the catches that'll stop it from, you know, going back down. And this is the release, this valve here, and you just turn it real slow, like that. See how slow it's moving now? It's actually moving down right now, but. As much as you turn the valve is how much it goes down. So some of you said how fast. Well, it's up to you. You know? So see how nice and smooth that was? So that's how slow it goes. As slow as you want it. If you turn it, you know, eh, it's just going to crawl down. If you just yank on her, yeah, she's going to go down <laughs> fast. You don't want to do that. Um, so, yeah, so she is now resting on those teeth. Okay? And it's at least up in the air where, look, Someone is better at camera work. I could do like a bit where I'm dancing with it and spin the bike and yeah, I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, see, look, here. Woo. I can just move the bike now. Nothing to it. I grabbed a rock with the wheel. So, then when you got her where you want her, these little feet here, crank down and drag on the ground to a couple turns. And look, that's enough to hold it still, but if you want to, I mean, you could really go to town on these things and even lift these these wheels up off the ground if you really wanted to but i'm not gonna do that and then now she's stable where she is slightly off the ground again i, I i've got the jack a little too far forward this way i would have put it back a little that way but i was in a rush so i could do this real time on the camera but you can see it's idiot proof she's up she's safe and of course you can bring her all the way up if you want to just depends on what you're doing this is pretty much perfect for an oil change right here because it's got that tray that is so oh where the hell did i do with it oh there it is so that tray hooks on the jack and the oil goes in it <laughs> so 
there you go. So that just a, a better job of showing how this thing goes and how it lifts. You want, we can drop it down now if you want to. If you want to, good Lord, the Arkansas came out for a second there. My family's from Kensett, Jonesboro, Searcy. And so every once in a while, I say things and my daughter goes, Daddy, what the hell was that? And I'm like, well, she didn't say what the hell. She's eight. But, all right, I just turned it. So now I've turned it back this way a little more. And I'm going to put the feet down so it's stable. You do do. This is me being, you know, anal retentive. You may not be this cautious. I would be because there's a lot of money <laughs> right there for you to just go, woo, throwing it all around. But I'm going to lift her up now just enough so that I can pull the, the flip those levers over. First, you got to put the valve closed. Otherwise, you're just cranking your foot. I don't know what it was. It was. I'm just stupid, which is an important part of all these videos. Now, the way these go, which I love because it's these two separate instead of one. My old one, it was, they were connected, and it just made things weird. So now those are flipped back. So then all I'm do is kickstand is down, right? No, it is, but well, there you go. Kickstand's down. So we'll turn this little valve as fast or slow as you want. See? And there she went. Now I gotta turn about some more. So then now the jack comes free. It only came free to drug it because I got those stabilizers down. So now you see how a JNS works, what the process is. You got to see my face up close, which normally I charge for. That's like an OnlyFans kind of thing. Yeah, normally you should pay $20 to see this face up close. Now this fat man's winded. Whew. Anyway, um, the raffle kind of thing we're going to do. So a viewer who I didn't get his permission to tell the world who he was, so I'm not going to do that. You know who you are, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, sent me a care package with the instructions, do with this what you will. Um, and he was saying, raffle it. You know, give it away, whatever you want to do. And I just thought it'd be nice to do a fundraiser for an organization that means a hell of a lot to me. Um, last month was Child Abuse Awareness Month, so I'm just, I suck at this. We're in May now. But um, what I want to do is we're going to make this, put this care package on eBay. So yeah, I mean, there's some downsides there because of fees and stuff. But the reality is I cannot build out a system for bidding <laughs> in my spare time. Like, you know, so we're just going to put this on eBay. And anyone who wins it, all the proceeds will be donated to the local chapter of Bikers Against Child Abuse. So no, that funds goes to their expenses, which is none. Got to run the hotline phone number or something like that. Uh, but yeah, that and then, uh, you know, sometimes it goes to like help kids co-pays for their, their counseling and stuff like that. So it, the money goes to the kids, uh, 100%. So I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick what he sent me. Now this is, first off, the big bit. This is a vintage Harley Davidson extra large denim jacket. So actual Harley jacket, size extra large, been used, got some miles on it, but it's not torn up, no holes, no fraying. I think it's cool. If it fit me, man, it'd be hard to let it go because a denim jacket rolls up in your tour pack real well. But it's got the brothers patches on it, which is cool. Just some cool ones like, you know, you got Statue of Liberty, Harley package, your sunglass holder pin, which is cool. Man, I almost grabbed that off there, but I didn't. Um, some Harley pins here, another Harley, your hog, your hog uh, a patch, and on the back he's got some other pretty vintage. I recognize these patches from years ago, so I'm thinking this sucker is 1990s, maybe 2000s, but I think 1990s. But it's cool. It's just so cool, old school. It's something I could picture my old man wearing. If I had it, I'd probably shadow box it or something. I know that sounds goofy and, and hang it on the wall because it just, you know, it just reminds me of my old man, what he wore when he rode when I was a lot younger. So, uh, as a matter of fact, this would fit him. So, he's going to see this video and go, what are you doing? That should go to me. Anyway, so, this jacket's going to be in that package. But wait, there's more. We've got a nice, cool Harley ball cap. We've got, I think this is cashmere flat cap. 
uh, size large. So some, you know, most dudes can be able to wear this. That's cool. I haven't even seen this one before. Again, I think this stuff's got got to be at least 10, 20, 25 years old. It's cool. So you got a vintage um, cashmere flat cap. You got some nice dealer bought do rags, right? You got a cool vintage. I, I'm almost positive this is 90s, but that teal, you know, that cool. This patch brand new in a package. These are cool. They're they're bag organizers. So these fit your standard size Harley hard bags. They're two piece, um, but they go on the bottom of your saddlebag. So they, they go at the very bottom of the saddlebag. That ridge goes between, you know what I'm talking about. And then you got this sleeve one for tools, screwdriver, cash, whatever. And then this sort of L-shaped one to fill up the rest of that space. And you got the both sets. So these go in the base of your saddlebag for the stuff you never need, but you still want to have. You know, it's down there and it's safe. And then these, really cool. I sized them um, using an app. I think they're size 12. Harley Davidson rings. Really cool stuff. You know, it's kind of a copper bronze stainless and i looked inside the band these are legitimate the the laser etching that says harley davidson is inside is in there so these are actual dealer you know rings this one's really cool it's like i don't know i don't even see that it's like riveted together bar and shield it's cool stuff so we're gonna do this all in one you know um i thought about splitting it up but we're just not gonna do it this is just a giant care package of vintage modern vintage harley stuff so you got a patch two do-rags a cashmere cap a, 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 a harley cap ball cap two size 12 dealer bought harley davidson rings and this very cool you know vintage i think 90s 1990s i'm thinking stonewashed harley davidson brand jacket covered in patches and pins and all kinds of cool stuff that would just look good great if you don't wear it just look good hanging in the garage and then the bag liners at the bottom for some storage so again screwdrivers things that you want to have but don't need often these go in the base of your bags and keep everything safe so what's the value of all this stuff i don't know man i mean that jacket's something that that overseas someone would pay big money for <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna put this on ebay as a care package top bid whatever the proceeds are after when i get paid by it whatever I'm going to donate to the local chapter of Barkers Against Child Abuse. Barker, Barkers. Barkers is for dogs. Bikers Against Child Abuse, and they'll use it to pay for, you know, the hotline number and any kids' assistance they need and this, that, and the other. So um, there's no paid employees of the organization, so it doesn't go into one pocket. It only goes in the fund for the chapter that will pay for the expenses of running the chapter and, and uh, um, helping any kids that need help. So, again, I'll put the link in the description to the auction. Today is something it's tuesday it's tuesday the 11th isn't it yes so today's tuesday the 11th i won't launch this video until i got the auction up i gotta photograph all this stuff so it'll probably be tonight before i get this video up but yeah i mean ask questions if you want to know size of anything again the jacket's an extra large the hat's a large the cap's adjustable the do rat rags are adjustable the rings are size 12 they fit my pinky they really fit my, my middle finger but tight so i'm almost positive 12 because my wedding ring's a 13 so um, and then you got these cool liners for your bags. No idea where to even get these. I haven't seen these before. They're cool. They're nicely made and everything. So, um, good care pack for anybody out there who wants it. And the money all go to a good cause. So, thanks a bunch out there. Take care of each other and uh, let me know if I missed anything or let me know what else I've done wrong lately. Anything I've done that may have upset you, offended you, or, you know, I accept feedback. <laughs> Take care of each other out there. Bye.